just left our previous party of travelers in central Kalahari, Botswana to join up with the next bunch in Namibia. A 1500 kilometer drive which took us over 20 hours. Yes, the Boeing had gone over and it was also my birthday. The desert horse lookout spot is not far from Klein House and we decided to go and take a look. These animals arrived during World War II with the Germans and after the war they just left to fend for themselves. It is great to see these thriving horses just running free. After they'd all had a drink they trudged off into the harsh countryside. Back at camp I was embarrassed to see that everybody had brought me a gift only to discover that they were all packets of knickknacks. Someone must have noticed that I enjoy the odd knickknack. Thanks for the effort everybody, that was a great party. The next day it was off to see the ghost town of Kormans Kop, just outside Lideritz. Diamonds were discovered in 1908 and a rush ensued. This once thriving little town was built in the architectural style of a German town. In 1928 the field was close to depleted and a new far richer scene had been discovered just 270 kilometers to the south. Most people just up sticks and abandoned the place. It has been a ghost town since 1956. We decided to explore Luderitz for a few hours before heading back to Klein Aus. Even though Lomad had her cell phone stolen in Lideritz and Phil had filled up his door pocket with diesel, spirits were up and we enjoyed a quick lunch with a few cold ones before heading off to Quemus' campsite.